Welcome back to Badminton Europe's live coverage of the Scottish Open Grand Prix from the Emirates Arena in Glasgow. My name is Dan Travers and I'm joined at this time by Ray Stevens. We're always looking forward to hearing from our viewers, so please do tweet us with any thoughts on the competition at hashtag SOGP. I have an apology to make. This lady's doubles is between Australia and Japan. It's my age and my glasses are failing me. I couldn't see the flags. But how do you think this will go, Ray? Well, <coughs> we've just seen a Japanese pair in action and was very impressed. And uh, I think that uh, you don't come all the way from Japan and not be a very good player. But mind you, the Australia's, I suppose, <laughs> just as far. I'm going to pick the Japanese, but they do look young. They do look young. I think the one in the left just put her homework down uh, before warming up. Yeah, I remember a trip we had, myself and Billy had many, many years ago, and lost to two boys that I'm sure had been doing either lines for their teacher or lesson plans or something in the crowd and just jumped the barrier and whooped us. Uh, I think we were still a, a little bit jet lagged, but it was so embarrassing. Anyway, I'm going to ask you a fashion statement, Ray. What is your opinion on these long sock things they wear? Well, they're supposed to serve a purpose of uh, increasing uh, the blood circulation. I don't think they look bad at all. I, I think... I think they look terrible. That's think what I terrible. think. Yeah, well, OK. Let, let me, me hear some you, of your thoughts Let then. me ask you a fashion statement. What right. do you think of the lady's shorts on this uh, court? Well, I, I've, I've got no view. Uh, personally, I do like to see girls in a skirt, but that's a, it's. I've got no view. If a girl's more comfortable in shorts, let her wear shorts, I think. It's whatever they're comfortable in that they can do whatever. But if you look, and I'm not trying to be disrespectful, that the young girl, as we're looking at them on the left-hand side there, could have been in an all-black team there when she was uh, doing the hack or something at the front of the court. These long black socks and, ah, oh, for me, nope, it's a no-no. I can understand it in veterans badminton where they wear them so that they don't get problems with their calves to get them heated up and everything yep. like that, but I can't think these youngsters need them. Well, I, I think what happens, Dan, is you get people like Jan Jorgensen wearing them. And so it's his fault. Yeah, it's all his fault. <laughs> it's uh, top-class players wearing them and it becomes the thing to do. Yeah, and Jan Jorgensen is a fantastic player. But uh, I don't like his, his long socks. Probably takes advantage of every little edge that he can get. And if he thinks that that gives him an edge, mm. good luck, Jan. But having watched these players uh, knock up Dan, I think it's going to be uh, a good match, actually. I, don't th I can't see anyone being... Uh, well, we have to remember they were knocked up in the half court, Ray. They were, yeah. That's when they're yeah. covering the full court. And one of my old partners said to me when I was a young man, anybody looks good in a knock up. Well, I'm sure the Australian pair are over here to uh, collect points for the uh, Olympic qualification. So. Uh, They'll be out here to perform. The Japanese pair does not have the look of the last Japanese pair, let me say that.
one all. I'm going to stick my neck out here and make a prediction rate. Yep. I'm Is going to take two girls to win this. You're always right. I know. You're always so right. No, we shouldn't assume. To, to be fair to the four players on court, they uh, they all look quite consistent and uh, decent players. This is going to be a long game, I think. And I'm going to stick my neck out now. I'm going to be a giraffe. I'm going to say... The Japanese pair. Oh, that is if she doesn't get service faulted all through the game. Okay. Well, as we both know, because we've been uh, commentating since 10 o'clock this morning and we're both desperate for a coffee, I'll have a coffee on that. I'll take the Australians. Right. I think that girl That's there brave. on the shuttle is going to be a very good player. I think she's very young, but I like what I see at this moment in time. I agree that I think they're very young. And I'm in the lead. At the moment. So 4-3 Australia. Oh, a sharp play there. Very good, very good. And I must watch the next time that girl receives a serve. Is it Retro, her name is? Or, or, oh, it's Ito. When she receives a serve, I felt she's moved twice. The last two serves she's received, I felt she moved. And the Australians won't be happy about that. Called in. Well, Somerville looked like she was a bit quick off the blocks there as well, Dan. Yeah, I was going to say I'll make a prediction she'll flip because she served into the net the last time she served low. That oh, little one is good, good at the front of the court. That's clever. Cross block. The passer has got um, some good flair, actually. I've seen her do a jump, hold and clear. But the Japanese do look sharper. That's a good hit. It was straight onto her racket, but it was quite powerful, quick. There's your hitting action again that... Uh See that her front foot again, she was off there. That's good. Uh, and really, the Australians should have won that point probably twice, but the Japanese just keep getting it back. They're, um, it's just uh, something they have. Do you want me to tell Jim to give them it? Or no? no, no, not no. at all, no. It was just the way you said they should have won that point. Well, they should have. There was a big smash uh, that went down, and then there was another smash. And they both looked like they were going to win, and they didn't. I, I should tell you about all the games. All the games that I should have won. Hey. 
I could tell you about all the games I should have won. Why, the list is endless. Seven all. Ray, I think we have to mention that there's no chocolate cake up here. <laughs> we mentioned we didn't have a coffee or we were desperate for a coffee. We got, we're, we're going to get a coffee now. Nine, so what seven. about a wee bit of uh, chicken Maryland or something like that? Would you like that? Sir? <laughs> anyway, let's get Be back high. to the real business. The real business. The food of life, more badminton. Ooh, Ooh. That might have drifted out. That's very good. I think this will be a closer call than the last game anyway. I'm, I'm still going to take right. the Japanese, but... I think it's going to be a tough match. That's what I'm going to predict. Sit on the fence. Oh, a little bit of indecision. Oh, hand again on this side. Oh. Well, as Bashful and the Seven Dwarfs would say, oh, g -g 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 gosh. Both pairs there making a hash of that, leaving it for each other. I think I think there is a difference in the pairs that the uh, Japanese get back stuff that you don't expect them to get back, whereas the uh, Australians make some mistakes in those sort of situations. I mean, that's intelligent play that she's just done there, but there's a mistake. Ten, nine. She a little bit dejected there. That was an unforced error because she's got the shuttle in the air. She was in control at the time. it now the Japanese should be punishing the young Australian in the red she was shaking her head a couple of minutes ago then she got flicked almost clean just keep the pressure on her get her to doubt herself So any thoughts on what you'd be saying if you were in the Australian camp at this moment? Well, I think they're doing the right right things. I mean, it is only 11-9. Um, they've just made, well, I can think of about five errors that they shouldn't have made. And uh, it, it, it's that. I'm, I definitely see the speed, ferocity and talent over one side, which is the Japanese side. But if um, the Australians can stop making the errors, they're, they're, they're playing intelligently. Oh. And that's what the Australians seem to be doing to me, Dan. They're, they're pressing, pressing, and just over-pressing and making a mistake. Yep, again, it, it's the Japanese have a mindset when they go on. They try and be as patient as they can. Whatever it takes, they're willing to do. The, the Australians have to match that. They've got more firepower, I think. But I don't think they'll match it because I just don't think they train that way. I don't know. But that's this one impresses me. I'm watching her move and watch her control of the shuttle. I don't know what age she is, but she is very impressive. She's maybe about 35 or something, married with two kids. But she looks impressive on the court. I like her feet, everything. Look at that. That's so clever. 
for someone so young as I am assuming she is. Just in case, did you want to change sides on this bet at all? Or not? Uh, excuse me, Mr. Stevens, I have the Japanese pair who appear to be up 15-11, if I am not mistaken. Well, I just want to give you that opportunity. I want No, 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 no. My money's safe. Lovely stop drop. <coughs> See, I, I do think the Australians are more powerful. If they can just match the Japanese for patience, then perhaps your money might be safe. But it, mine's is Dan, definitely safe. It was a coffee, safe. not money. Just want to remind you. But we're you, getting the coffee. Someone is away to get us a coffee. So I'll oh, no, take no, the no, cash. No, the cash the I'll take the cash. <laughs> Oh, that's the first bad shot my player of the tournament has made. Well, that's a lovely shot. And, and what a pickup. See, it's the impatience. They, they think that's a chance and then they go for it and it's a chance to make a mistake. Oh. I don't know if you can see it on your screen, but there's a, an enormous bright light has struck up on the left-hand side of the arena here for some reason. And I'm very concerned because it's reflecting off my grey hair. People on the other side of the arena can't see anything. I thought for a moment I'd seen the light down, but no, obviously not. Well, it's a very big light and they need to get it out. But you feel for the players that have changed conditions. You're right. There was my player of the tournament, another winner. It was lucky, very lucky. But you take but everything when few, you're out there. A few like that back then, so it's not always luck. That was very quick, very good at the front. Keeps them in it, gives them a chance. These two girls do look young, Dan. I think they are young. Oh. Yeah, it's very good defence. Oh, good from the Japanese, but very good defence from Mapasa. Very good. Fifteen nineteen, still very much in it. It's all about belief. Keep the shuttle alive till you get your chance. Good play. Yeah, you see how they cover around each other very well. Oh. Oh. See, the impatience again there. The Australian girl took a chance, 
came in, then opened up the court with the two of them being on the one side half court. And the Japanese girl just played a simple cross court winner. That's a lovely shot she has. Lovely stop drop. Makes as if she's going to smash and then just checks the movement of the racket. Very good. Even although I don't like her socks. That's a nice shot to recover it. Oh, that's lovely from her again. Is that my pass? That's uh, very good. Very good play. Very aware of what's happening in front of her, my passer. Seventeen twenty. So as we said, Ray, a much closer game than the first, the, the previous round that we watched. That's it. Just. They should just keep it going down the way until they've got their chance and then come in with the big guns. Well, that was a good shot. Good defence. Nice layoff. She's very good at that. And a cut. Very good. Very good. They've definitely got a chance, the Australian pair. But they're still up against it here. Ooh. Three points in this sort of situation. Not so sure. But I know you're always right, so. I was I'll wrong once in I'll 1974, I think it was. Right, I'll take the second bet that they don't win it. There you are. Oh, well. Critical. Being able to serve under pressure at a point like that, so crucial to play the game at the high level. So, Ray, any words of wisdom for the Australian pair? Other than be more patient, take your time, serve well, receive well. It's mistakes, Keep really, going. And uh, as I said to you, that I saw about seven mistakes that were unforced that I didn't see from the Japanese. And I was really impressed with these uh, young Japanese girls. Um, but if you look at it, there's only three points difference in the game. And those seven or eight <coughs> mistakes are uh, crucial. And that's that's what a lot of the younger players don't understand. When they make mistakes early in the game, it can cost them so dearly at the end. So when you take the court, you have to be ready from the word go and everything has to matter. So there is still this bright light on the left and it is not the sun of the arena. The very bright light coming from the scoreboard. They're managing to darken it down now. That's a relief. I was getting a migraine there. I don't know if I don't know if it was the the light or listening to you thinking as much. I'm not sure. Anyway, here we go. The food of life. More badminton. Jim just giving them a wee chat there, Jim Gold. I don't know what he's saying, but... Yeah, they Good were all we laughing say, anyway. You two got to be home. <laughs> Have you done your homework for tomorrow? Love all. And the 
Australians obviously told to play down the centre of the court there. Centre of the two players. Let's see if they're versed in the, the drifts when they have to play their first lift. Off an eight shot. I do think there's a slight drift as we are, as you see the picture across the court, left to right. There's a slight drift and there is definitely a drift from back to front from where we are looking at the Japanese pair facing the camera. So, so you've seen two mistakes already and this to me is the basic difference in, in, in the match and uh, all credit to the Japanese pair that they don't don't make those unforced errors to me it just says that they've been trained well Very good patience from the Japanese pair. Yeah, she knew she'd made a mistake with her third last shot there. The Japanese girl got, got, had to go deeper in the court. Now I'm going to watch Eto's feet here. Ah, she was all right there. Very good return of serve. Played out wide and was covering the line. Hate to say it, Ray, but I think I'm going to be right again. See, that's crazy. Trying to play far too tight. You're a set down, 4 2 down. Give yourself a chance. Good rally, this. <clears throat> Good rally, terrible shot to finish it there from the Japanese out. Complete open court as well, wasn't it, Dan? Yeah, that wasn't very good at all. And it was the Japanese lifting out there. So she's given up far too much because the drift would hold it in a little.
So the Australian team are really back in it now, six all. That's a lovely shot from oh, the pass that cross block. Good defence. Ooh. See, it's six all making that sort of mistake, Dan. I think that's <laughs> about five mistakes there, and it's six all. I think she was in two minds whether to hit it or leave it there. The Japanese girl, Eto. So 8-7 Australia sneak into the lead, possibly for the first time. I don't want you changing sides on me now, Dan. I would never do that. But it is, if, if the Australians can just stop the silly mistakes, they've got the firepower and their defence is good enough, it's just patience. It's in the head. That's a good shot. See, to me, the Australians are playing intelligently. But uh, she just put a clear in that completely uh, got the Japanese girl and put another clear in. You know, I'll be testing if you make success once with it, you know, try it again. I did think that the only reason the clear uh, was the winner, Ray, was she was in two minds. I think she was waiting in a shout from her partner. Right. And it didn't come, but I, I don't know. See here. Very open game developing. Yep. Good. So, Australia lead at the turn, 11-7. Remember, we do want to hear from you. So tweet us at hashtag SOGP with anything. Just pushing it too wide there with a the smash, just trying to hit it a little bit off balance. Did it have to be that tight? I don't think so. No, anywhere in the tram line would have been a winner there. I actually think, I think the <laughs> uh, best shot there would have been uh, a slow drop. Yeah. 
9.12. I expect the Japanese to make less errors here and go on to take this. Uh, keeping the pressure on the Australians and forcing them to snatch any chance they get. But I am impressed with the Australian girls. I just think the Japanese may up the pace and then they won't be able to not make errors. Bit of a dispute here. The Australians asking to change the shuttle. The Japanese are saying it's okay. Now they're saying they want to change it. Or maybe it was the other way around. They wanted to change and the Australians didn't. But, but at 10-12, now the mistakes are going to become crucial. Eleven twelve. Ah, oh, good return from the other. Very good though. return. Very good. Very good. Great shot from yep. the yep. Japanese girl there. I think they were just playing around for a few points, maybe enjoying the scenery, enjoying the culture of this wonderful city. Now they've stepped up. That was another good return from the Australian girl. Very good. You do realise if Australian girls win this set, Ray, I'm going to say that I only took the Japanese to get a bit of controversy. <laughs> That's a great shot. Reverse layoff. It's got a, flare, oh. a lot of flair, Mapata, actually. Sometimes I think she tries to use it a bit too much. Oh, well, in that instance there, she almost let the shuttle hit the flare, as they say in Glasgow, the floor. It's very but good she, at tennis as well, you know, that girl. Yes, half volleys. But she, she is a very talented girl. She's played numerous reverse slices and reverse layoffs. It's very difficult. You've got to be confident to do that kind of stuff. She jumps as well, which is uh, not always common in women's badminton. No, I think she's waiting until they hit the shuttle. Well, you didn't mean jump serves. Uh, actually, it was a jump clear she did. Oh, that's interesting. If we could see that again. A low serve left. 
called in by the umpire. The Australians wanted it out. Good return. Getting to it that time. Oh, that's close. Very good. Oh, Oof. good play. Oh. oh. There it is, up the middle. I said it in the last game, up the middle in ladies doubles leads to indecision. You need a very strong character just to shout mine, mine. And if not, just hit it. That's a good shot. Sixteen all, very much anybody's game. And I always think at this stage in the game, Dan, I think, is it going to be won or is it going to be lost? And it's whether people are hitting winners or hitting mistakes. Cannot afford silly mistakes at this stage in the game. That's a bad shot. That's very good back. Uh, yeah, that was very, very good from the Japanese. They had Mapasa struggling. She was on the floor. Then they hit it back at her. Here you'll see it again. It's very good. Uh, she was struggling there. Why am I always right? The always. Japanese are leading 18 16 again, Ray. I'm not going to change. Could be the kiss of death for them. Oh, that's a terrible mistake at that stage of the game. Come on, head up. You can do it. You but, but can. But it's not head up, is it? She's. Uh She's showing a sort of negativity that you can't afford to show at this stage in the game. Great return by Mapasa. Yep, but that's that's been their best return on this side of the court, playing just down. <coughs> it's got them a lift nearly every time if the Japanese have got to it. I've got to keep the shuttle on this girl. She's going to make the mistakes. Yeah. And the Japanese knew it, didn't they? Yeah. My pass is a stronger character, I think. The other girl's a good player, but she, just when it gets tight here today, she's just let herself down by not believing in herself more. Take it. That's a lovely shot, but... Oh. oh, that's lovely. Lovely straight cut. They were both set up for a big hit coming at them there. That was very, very good. 18-20, they're still in it, but they have to believe. I think we're we were where we were in the first set, Dan. 18-20, sounds close. Three points in a rally point scoring system is a lot. And if we say it like this, it sounds even closer. 18.20. And she's lifted out with the drift. So the Japanese go through again. 21.18, 21.18. And once again, Dan, you were right. And you're modest. Again and again. So we'll be taking a very short break, but don't go anywhere as we'll be back momentarily with further live coverage from the Scottish Open Grand Prix. Send us your tweets, hashtag SOGP, as the Japanese, another Japanese pair goes through to the next round.
I think the winners of the tournament, though, Dan, will be um, the Bulg Bulgarian girls, uh, Staveva. Mm. How are you doing? 